So 10 years ago, there were a lot of dynamics in the field of journalism. Trevor Thompson from the AP approached me and we talked about the horse race polling. We talked about the information overload that the general public is, was experiencing and the need for reliable, trustworthy information. And at the same time, there were financial pressures that were causing uh, a lot of media organizations to shut down their survey research and their polling. There was a real concern at the time because of all the necessary cutbacks that the tradition in American journalism of conducting you know, high quality, independent social science research for news might actually just vanish. At the AP, we really wanted to find a way to step in and try and fill that void um, and expand what we were uh, offering, but also find a way to make it economically sustainable. We thought the time was ripe to create a new initiative that would really uh, get back to the roots of really good public opinion polling. AP and NORC are a marriage, really, of complementary skills. You're bringing together deep scientific research that is about quality and depth. It's the gold standard of research with AP's ability to create relevance out of that and also our reach and distribution because the AP reaches over 4 billion people every single day. So that's really one of the amazing things of the reach of the AP is when we have a story out in the AP, I'll often hear about it first thing in the morning when I listen to the radio, I'll see it on morning TV, I'll see it in the newspaper, I'll see it online. You know, we'll get a bunch of texts from people saying, hey, I just saw this, uh, you know, on the morning news. You'll see it on running tickers on buildings in the city, all over social media throughout the day, straight through to the, the evening news on NPR on your way home, um, and even the uh, late night shows um, in, in a monologue. The research and the journalism of the AP NORC Center is really able to reach all key audiences, including policymakers and the general public. So VoteCast is a polling methodology that we established together back in 2018. It's a very, very large scale survey of about 100,000 people before each election, including views in every single state broken down among various demographic groups in great depth. In the context of an election, it's really important for us to be able to collect that information quickly. Historically, it would have taken weeks and weeks and weeks because you need to get people to respond by mail. Now they can respond online. And it really helps America understand itself better. And that's no small thing given the world that we live in today. At the Harris School, we are all about evidence-based policymaking. We're living in a period of heightened partisanship and understanding what informs people's views is crucial to good policymaking. Our partnership with AP NORC lets us understand those things better, but then lets us get the evidence in front of policymakers and in front of readers of so many news outlets that we have much more impact than we could on our own. We've produced about 300 different studies. We've done public opinion work in the US and in Russia and in Cuba. Through this work, we've been able to focus on some policy topics that historically haven't been covered well in the news, but that affect almost all Americans, like long-term care and caregiving. One of the great things about public opinion research when it's well done is that we can give a voice to all the people. 52% of Americans who make it to age 65 will have a long-term care need at some point in time in their life. But most people still want to be able to live at home and live well in community with the support of their family caregivers. When the SCAN Foundation started, we knew that there needed to be a much larger public conversation as well as public policy conversation about aging in America. The polling from the AP NARC Center has put aging on the map in communications all across the country, in state houses, at the federal government, and in local communities who are making decisions about resources that would benefit older people be able to stay and live well at home with the support of family caregivers. Fundamentally, what I think people care about when they are trying to inform themselves about this increasingly complex world we live in is what is the truth? 
No one can claim an absolute ownership of the truth. There are always nuances and subtleties. But what we're trying to do here is give people a factual basis for thinking about the world around them. I think the most important thing about the work that AP and NORC do together is the trust that we are building at a time when knowing who to trust and what to trust is becoming increasingly difficult. As we mark our 10 years of working together, we're really excited about the work that we have done in the past, but we are even more excited about what we can achieve together in the future.